Next is Greece, and thank you guys for joining me on my channel. Please do think about subscribing to my channel as I'd love to reach 10,000 subscribers. Like this video if you like it, and let's get into it. Um, Greece, let's see who we got for Greece. Victor Vernikos for Greece. Hello. Victor Vernikos might be young, the youngest artist to represent Greece at the Eurovision Con Song Contest. How old is he? He comes from a very musical family with a Greek mother who plays piano and a Danish father who plays trumpet. And Victor himself is proud of both his Greek and Scandinavian heritage. Lovely. Okay, so it says that he's influenced by Ed Sheeran, John Mayer and Coldplay. Okay. Do you know what I would really love? is just him and guitar on stage you know just him and guitar finger picking uh maybe loop pedal um but yeah i think that could be really nice like really stripped back um that could be really awesome yeah, well let's let's jump in we're on bass Nice. Nice. Cursive singing. I don't like it. Sorry, guys, I'm old. It's one of them ones, isn't it? Dush, 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 dush. Feels overdone. That that kind of beat feels a bit overdone. I'm not excited about it. <sighs> Do you know what? I can't. I can't. I like this guy so much, but that cursive singing. I can't get with it, guys. It, it's really jarring, actually. He's got a good voice. I just want someone to train it out. No, the deal. Oh, you got the drums. You got them drums, Eurovision drums. Look, the melody is actually really nice. This song needs a remix, man. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. Victor. Victor's got so much potential. And this song has a lot of potential. I just, I'm, oh, I, I'm, it's so weird because I am, it's like this thin line, this thin line where I'm, I'm balancing between loving and hating <laughs> or liking and disliking. Loving and hating is too strong, it's too, it's too, too strong guys. Liking and disliking. 
I love in the fact he started off with the bass and it, it just sounds so good. I'm, I always love how when you have a bass, how you play, you know, finger picking a bass and making it sound melodic like you would a guitar. I'm, I'm here for it, absolutely here for it. And I hope they start the, um, the song like that on stage. Yeah, that's plus. He's got charisma, very good. Uh, what else is good? <laughs> um, the melody, the song itself is good. I just feel like that douche, douche, douche when the in the first chorus. I think they didn't bring, they didn't even bring it back, which is odd. But I think that that sort of douche, douche, douche uh, drum beat just felt quite maybe quite dated. Like we've heard it so many times before. I wish they did something else with it. Um, and and I'm so sorry, guys, because I, I, I'm old. I'm old, all right. <laughs> this ain't my generation. You you Gen Zs, man. You love to sing like that. Where did you get it from? Where did you get it from? Was it Amy? Did you get it from Amy? No, you did. Well, she, but there's just something so it feels just quite derivative when I hear people singing like that sort of cursive. Too late. Like I just cannot listen to it. I'm so sorry. It it does something to my ears, which is not enjoyable. Because all I want to do is ha like just sing properly, just just express, sing. <laughs> I need a singing teacher. I need I need what's my lady from um, what's my lady who I love that singing teacher. What's her name? The vocal coach. The vocal coach, YouTube's vocal coach, Cheryl Porter. I need Cheryl Porter to get hold of this guy, okay? And just help him just smooth out those lines, like just give us proper singing. Um, I feel like it's a bad habit that a lot of people have picked up and it just doesn't sound good. I'm sorry, that's my opinion. It's just an opinion, but it really took away from my enjoyment of the song. And, and, and to the next point, the last point I think I'm gonna make, I would love this song to be reworked, to have a remix, which is a stripped back. Like if this guy, if the, what's his name, Victor, if he's going to Eurovision parties and if he's doing or doing like press and he does an acoustic version of this song, I will tell you by, I will promise you, it will sound so much better than this version. So something to think about. This song needs to be stripped back. It needs to have more emotion. It needs to have space, slow down the tempo, give us that kind of just solo on the, give me, give me your bass. Give me, sit down on the stage, black spotlight, you and your bass with a couple of pedals to give us like some uh, uh, texture and tone to your bass, okay? and maybe have someone that comes in later with a bit of a drum, like a very small drum kit, and but just play it slowly and sing the song like you're singing it as a, as a story. You know, give it time to breathe and stretch. You know, give it space, give the song some space. And try not to sing in that kind of cursive kind of way. I'm so sorry, guys, so sorry. Uh, but other than that, look, Victor has got so much potential. I'm giving that kind of feedback because I see the potential. This person comes from a musical family and has lived with music all his life and I think has more room to grow and uh, definitely can can develop and grow. So it's not a really bad song, but I just think there's certain things that are just taken away from my enjoyment, my possible enjoyment of this song. Um, so yeah, that is it. But well done nonetheless. <laughs>